The only thing I like more than chumps is brains. So do everybody else, judging by the 100,000 plus scores in the leaderboard. Three Microsoft interns make this game about three months to make the Shiro shmup. Then they let everyone have it for free except for people in Europe. That's like 10,000 forks and all you need is a knife. Now speaking of forks, this game shows you don't need too much salad dressing to make a tasty chump. And I can swing a big old bowl of leaves. I don't know what in the blue blaze they talking about. I guess what? That's a shoe with wings on it. Just check out this ship. It's a shoe with wings on it. Your ship looks like some sort of basketball shoe. A Nike boot. At least this shoe is small. Life bar actually isn't too bad in this game. Usually life bar is an excuse. To throw out tons of crap. You can't dodge the big old ship. This game kind of looks like Ikaruga border down. But if you're thinking this game's taking anything from either of those, because all of them look like generic and ugly Euro shmups. Look at the background. When you look at the background, just take a gander. Take a gander at the background, you see all this orange and brown. Looky there at that planet there. You see that planet out there? That's where Ikaruga took place. We can leave the orange and brown first person shooters have Toady. Toady. Toady gosh Toady. Now the strategy on every stage about the same. It's a classic whack-a-mole game design. All them moles popping up out of them little holes. You take your mallet, smack them down. You're kind of at the mercy of the game design. You get random power-ups, knock them critters back. You don't need no health refill because you keep dodging them simple patterns. You want the laser. Then you got this reflect bubble and then you got this yellow thing of a bubber. So basically you got two weapons to defend yourself, two weapons to defend yourself. I mean, you attack. Since I want to get as high as I can on Xbox leaderboard, I try to use them. But if you have no other option than to pick up the reflect bubble, sometimes that's your only option. I don't like when his boss don't close his eye, because I want to keep shooting. You open your eyes so I can shoot it. Play hide and seek in the corner. This ain't no shump. I could have told you that in about 20 seconds. Fix your boss. They're dumb. Want to smack all them French peanuts. Really doesn't care about smacking you. Really doesn't mean business. The laser doesn't mean business. Just wants to spook you a little bit, like jumping out from a corner. Throw those hands in the air, boat, surprise. Just for a little prank. Now you take what you just learned, and you apply it to multiplayer game. Now conventional wisdom goes, the more players you add in a shooting game, the more fun it gets. That ain't true. Difficult to go straight down to hell. Like you just jump down in a suit to break up boots, that's where the challenge goes. Another thing about multiplayer games, you can attach your ship to another ship. And I don't go out of my way to do this, because I'm a lone fighter. I mean, I cooperate with y'all. If I say you need a health power up, I don't touch it if you need. Now, if people run around the screen trying to attach their ship to me, then their fate's in my hand. I kind of feel embarrassed if they crash for some reason. I don't know why they do that. I'm better than you to watching all these bullets, dodging all these balls, but kind of makes things a little bit more trickier when everything's all fat now. I'm trying to move around the screen. You're weighing me down. If it comes to my survival of yours, I'll throw you straight off my ship. Too much firepower, too much flower power, too much action going on, too many colors, too many homing missiles. Everybody doing their own thing. I can't tell what's going on. Except that every enemy's being destroyed before I can even shoot one single bullet. But on the plus side, when you got three, four ships, you make them boss last a little less long. I was waiting some, for some objects for the boss to destroy so I can revive my partner and all of a sudden. Look at this, right here. This laser's not a fucking foot near my fucking ship and it fucking blew it up. Had all the egg on my face, I was just embarrassed. It's like she's walking on the sidewalk down the street and all of a sudden your foot's in some bear trap. Some bear trap, so I'm putting some forest and you're like, wait a minute, what's this bear trap doing on my foot? I'm on the street, not some forest. I just love it when the heat is on. You're doing all those fancy moves and then all of a sudden, bear trap, stupid game. Now I see there's someone playing egg swing about any time, any time of the day, 24-7. Kind of raised my spirit a little bit. I think they'd want to play Riding Far and all them cave games too. So bring out those games, Microsoft, cart them out. Now I've seen the type of games you advertise on Xbox Live on my new console. When you have all these crap Xbox Live games like Feeding Frenzy, I don't think you have no excuse to include no arcade games in your Xbox Live Arcade. And I've seen all them crappy games you got on Xbox Live Arcade. They hold no candle. Dough Patch, Dial Joe, Ultra Mega Black Mode. Do you bring out that game tomorrow? Or you won't see no 7.99 in my gold membership ever again?